is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? <clears throat> happy New Year too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. But you're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning, I had a pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. We appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. No doubt. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials flat, NASDAQ up 20, SPs up 5.5, gold contract down a buck 90, trading at 13.20 an ounce. Silver down 13 cents, $17.15 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 35 cents, $61.71 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you had the 10 year note down one tick, 123.15. 30 year bond off two, 151.24. King dollar, King dollar up 422 ticks, trading 92.095. The euro is at 119 and a half to the US dollar. The yen is at 113 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. What's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, new Monday, new week, new high. Uh, the cash is up 360. You're trading at 2746. Uh, we started the year off. We closed the year at 2673. So you can see, bottom line, you're up 70 S&P points in five trading days. Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow Industrials. When you're taking a look at the Dow Industrials, Dow Industrials right now trading flat. Pull this baby up. Dow Industrials are laying out here at 25,299. If we go inside the Dow Industrials, see where the strength is out here point wise today, Caterpillar. Caterpillar is putting 30 positive points in, United Technologies putting 10. Walmart's putting nine. Now, taken away from it is kind of a big number. You have United Health taking and putting 23 negative points into it. You have Goldman putting um, 18 negative points. Disney, 10. If we go over to Goldman and take a look at Goldman, Goldman's going to be the one that you want to pay attention to this month, folks. And the reason you want to pay attention to it is this. What we had with Goldman last week when we had holiday trading is that that start coming down on the 3rd with volume mind you okay the number were 25270 the number that you want to keep your eye on on this monthly basis is going to be i believe 25055 let me get it it's 250.70 and what that number is folks that was the high in 2007 goldman took it out with dramatically lighter volume and on a monthly basis, you get, if you get a failure there, which, you know, the way it's coming down on the daily, we can get it real easy. And we're talking about the end of the month. Uh, that's going to be a big heads up because that'll be a major failure uh, to get up and over that. Thus far, the, uh, the volume is, is basically anemic. So we'll see where that shakes out. NDX 100. Leaders inside the NDX 100. Big, big numbers here. You got Seagate Technology up 6.8%. Uh, Tesla's up 5.7. NVIDIA's a leader out there. That's up 3.7. Intuitive Surgical is up 2.9.
uh, taken away from it. Uh, you get the, the uh, couple of drug companies and the uh, bio and uh, the biotechs. Uh, you get Shira PLC down five uh, percent or seven ninety eight. You have Biogen down four percent or thirteen dollars and ninety cents. Regen runs off uh, three point five percent or thirteen dollars and fifty seven cents. If we go over and we just take a look at one of those, that's going to be interesting. Yes, yeah, so Regeneron has a high volume swing low. It's going after at three fifty three. You're at 371 right now. Uh, if we go take a look at Biogen, that's a that's a big consolidation. Try to get to the top of it, couldn't handle it. Uh, we traded at 344 on Friday. Now you get that high volume low that's laying out there at 301. Right now we are at 328. Well, we took a, take a look at some of the uh, higher volume stocks out here. Uh, GE is down 28 cents. Uh, GoPro, GoPro uh, is down a buck, trading at 651. Let's go to that. This is uh, GP. This this company's in big trouble. So GoPro um, cut is going to cut 20 percent of his. Let's let's get the 20, I believe it's 20 percent of their. Um, let's see. How many are you cutting, GoPro? Whoops. Headcount reduction. I believe it's uh, almost 20% of their workforce. I'll get you that exact number. Technically, what you have here is that uh, this baby, you talk about vicious. This came down to $5.04 today. Uh, you've done 54 million shares. When you, we actually put this back uh, to when it went public, uh, bottom line, you know, guess what? Once you're into 757, um, oh, th thanks, man. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, oh, 200. Okay, out of 1,200 employees, uh, 200 are going to be uh, cut. Uh, once you're into 757, the thing can just you know, go, go south. Uh, what they also did is that uh, they closed their, um, the drone and uh, part of the business, that's, uh, that, I suspect, that's where it had got a bounce, you know, about a year ago, because uh, it's like, okay, I put a camera on a drone, are they going to get uh, business going? Uh, well, not yet. Uh, some of the, uh, let's go, uh, NVDA, so when you take a look at some of these chip stocks, uh, NVIDIA going right after its high, and this high, you know, by the way, you can see this, this is where we get a consolidation. They had a high volume high, 218.67 has a high volume low at a buck 80. Now you're, you're, over, you're over the high. So we'll see uh, if it stays over that high today, you can go higher. Uh, you close back inside it, guess what? That sets up the whole consolidation. Uh, we go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at Intel. Intel out here. Yeah, that's gonna, you know, that downdraft of last week uh, is keeping Intel in check. They don't have any buyers out here. AMD. We take a look at AMD, and AMD uh, bottom line, it come, it come off that AMD wants to go up and fill that gap up at 14.55. Yeah, pretty wild. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 12. Nasdaq is up 17. S and P's are up three and a half. We're coming right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow Industrials right now down nine. Nasdaq's up 17. S&Ps are up four and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the first hour. Now, don't forget, folks, Steve's got a great program here every trading day, one to two Eastern Standard Time. You can come over to our website at TFNN. You can test drive his newsletter, Mastering Probability. It's a 30-day free trial. The way you do that, you go to TFNN. You go to newsletters, you go to trading newsletters, you're going to see Master and Probability test drive at 30 days, absolutely free. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, Happy New Year to you. And Happy New uh, Year to you. Yeah, let's yeah. make it a great one. Yeah, yeah. What a heck of a uh, first week of trading we had out there. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> the and rocket how about ship. First... Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, just a rocket ship, right? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And how about, a, uh, uh, how about a, uh, an amazing first week of weather? Oh. To bring us into the new year. You know, I don't, down in Florida, folks, we haven't got this where we are in, in the West Coast, I think 10 or 12 years. You know, because that's the last time I think I put my leather jacket on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but guess what? It's well, sunny and, you, and it's 75 out here today now, so it's I good. I know, I know. And yeah. you know how I like cold weather. Not at all. So. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> well, look, Tom, what I thought I would do today for, for all of our viewers and listeners is each day in uh, my newsletter service, I give in the very right-hand corner, the very top, I give an overall market outlook. And this is what the market outlook looks like for tomorrow. Okay. And what I what I do is I break it apart between the S&P 500, uh, gold, and uh, T-bonds out there. So kind of like a balanced uh, approach to a portfolio. So the equity portion of it, commodity portion of it, and the uh, bond portion of it. So for tomorrow, my now the, the way that this is used by a newsletter subscriber is the, the long-term piece of it is used for their retirement accounts. Uh, and I started doing this back in March of uh, of last year. Okay. Uh, we have we have maintained our long term bullish position since I started putting this as a piece of the daily newsletter. Uh, my current price projection is twenty eight oh nine. I'm going to go through this real quick, and then I'll show folks cool. how I actually get to this. Yeah. And that's the next horizontal trading range. But I'll show them. Intermediate term, we're bullish. But I do have a bit of concern because there's a couple of, of uh, potentially bearish patterns out there, some three drive to a top patterns. You cover that in your book, The Art of Timing the Trade. Uh, for gold, I'm long-term bullish, and I have a long-term price projection of 2090. Uh, but that's a longer-term price good. projection. That's good. I'll, I'll take I'll, it. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, Me totally. Too. 
intermediate term, when I say intermediate term, I'm really referring to not day trading, but I'm looking at basically daily charts. Maybe I'm influenced a little bit by um, weekly charts out there, but something that might last for a series of days out here. In the case of uh, gold, I'm expecting a bit of a bumpy move, so to speak, which has really kind of been sideways for a few days out there, waiting for one test, and then I'm anticipating that gold's going to get to 1377, and after that, 1462. Uh, Treasury bonds, long-term bullish, and I'll show, and with an expected over the longer term for price to get down into the 139 mm -hmm. area. Again, that's longer term. You meant bearish, uh, right? Now, right? The bearish, bearish, yeah. yeah. Intermediate term, I'm kind of neutral. So let me show everybody why, why or how I came up with these levels, these figures, and it just helps uh, uh, it helps newsletter subscribers try to navigate yes. where I anticipate things are going. So the S and P 500 from the long term perspective, uh, we had uh, Bud Rolfs who was just amazing at being able to provide us with the set of tools to use or calculate what he called primary trading ranges. I'm yeah. referring to them as horizontal trading ranges because I do it slightly different. But if we take a look at this S&P 500, these horizontal red lines, you can see how they really act as magnets, either as support or resistance. Inside the S&P 500, once price cleared the 2596 area, what's called 2600, it's set up to us that price should now move to 2809. As long as price stays above 2600, uh, odds favor that price will get up to the 2809. That doesn't mean that's the end of the move. That's just simply the next anticipated level of where I expect the S&P 500 to get to. Yes. But as I mentioned, intermediate term, I'm a bit concerned. And I'm a bit concerned because of this beautiful three drive to a top pattern that showed up this morning inside of the NQ. Now, this is the NQ. Even though I'm talking about the S&P 500, the ES has a similar one. It's not as beautiful as these two butterfly wings out here. Yeah. It's not confirmed just yet. Okay. Um, but but it is something to pay attention to. And, and we are in this unfavorable seasonal cycle of January. And what I mean by that is folks have to look to the bottom left-hand panel of our screen. And for the last 86 years, typically the market moves up into the first week of January and then begins a pullback into that January 30th time frame. Now, we haven't seen anything yet to tell us that the pullback or hasn't – I haven't seen anything to say that the pullback is in place or it's going to begin. But we are in this unfavorable seasonal cycle. And so with that three-drive pattern showing up, it just is a bit of caution. Now, gold on a long-term basis, I've got a price projection which basically doubles the price of the uh, bottom that came in in 2015. And that's based upon a pattern that uh, has shown up uh, at different places where markets have doubled or even more. And, uh, in fact, in, in uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that here when I take a look at the uh, Dow in a moment. So what I'm looking for, and this pattern doesn't become effective, so in order for 2090 to even be a possibility, I need to see a breakout above that 1377 level. But I know the pattern is in place. We've had some, some uh, we had a, a nice move from back in 2011 down to a low in 2015, makes its first move. Then on that pullback, made a higher, made a higher bottom, a higher yes. low out there. And, and even though it didn't get up to take out the uh, highs in July of 2016, kind of the consolidation that you were talking about yep. uh, just a few minutes ago, if it does take that out, boy, that gives the emphasis for me that longer term, this 2090 could really be in play. If nothing else, it's a nice A to B equals CD pattern. Intermediate term. What I'm waiting for is a test of this line, this red line on my chart. It's uh, referred to as the oscillator unchanged line. It's really taking a look at the bottom panel of my screen, which is a price oscillator. And there's a phenomenon that occurs when this price oscillator gets to the zero line. If we look on the left-hand side of my chart, I've got two arrows to show you the day when the price oscillator got to the zero level. And then what typically will take place is we will typically see price pull back into that red line. Once price gets above that, it's off to the races. So I'm waiting for either this oscillator and change line to move higher or price to pull back or some combination. And once we get that bullish test, then it should be off to that 1377 area and then 1462. Now, 1462 comes from taking Bud Rolfe's horizontal trading ranges. This is a weekly chart, but I've got the monthly uh, levels out here. And breaking above that 1377 takes us to that next horizontal trading range number of 1462. So that's where the number comes from. It's not just something pulled out of air. In the, bond, in the case of bonds out here, here's the long-term rising price channel. And since we're back inside it, 
the indication to me is over the long haul, price is going to try to get down to the bottom of it. My estimate is 139. It could be a diff slightly different number depending on when and if we get down to that level. But intermediate term basis, I'm still dealing with this price oscillator around the zero level. We've got this wedge pattern. And so I've gone to neutral until I see price either break to the upside or to the downside. So that's the longer term and intermediate term view that listeners out there can, uh, if they if they come over, try the newsletter service out, they'll get that as well as a whole lot more. So that's my uh, outlook long term and uh, intermediate term. Sweet. And folks, the way that you test drive Steve's newsletter, come over to our website at TFNN. You go to newsletters, go to trading newsletters, you're going to see Master and Probability, free 30-day trial. Folks, you can do it right here, right now. Steve, you have a great one, a safe one, and of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now. They are uh, trading slightly in the red. We'll see what the next uh, 30 minutes brings. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 26. You get the Nasdaq uh, up 17. S&Ps are up by uh, three and a half. Let's go and we take a look at the uh, silver contract. So uh, inside the commodity market out here, um, silver right now is trading down to seven tenths of one percent. You're at seventeen dollars fourteen cents. Uh, what you have uh, inside the silver market right now is that uh, you get down to seventeen oh six today. The bottom end of where we've been kind of trading here is 1702. 
Uh, and what Silver is looking to do, and it has the volume once again today, which is pretty cool. Silver is coming into the swing highs from October 16th, which is 1759, as well as November 17th, which is 1748. Now, you're pushing those with volume. It hasn't been able to break topside yet. I expect you're going to see it. We'll see whether it's going to be, uh, you know, this week or next week. Uh, but I do expect, number one, that you're going to get into it. Uh, we'll see where you get the juice to get up and over it and get up into the September 8th high of $18.36. Uh, September 8th is a big number, folks, uh, in basically the metals market and the dollar, gold, um, bond market, uh, all, all around. Uh, the, what's going to be intriguing here is watching, if we go over to the king dollar for a second, what you're going to see is that king dollar out here, bottom line, has 15,000 contracts. Now, that's not a lot of contract volume. Uh, but King Dollar's been going down for so long that uh, I can see that you, you can get a counter trend bounce pretty easy. Uh, the last time we got a counter trend bounce, uh, that came in on November 27th at 92.130, and you got up to uh, 93.825 and fell apart again. You know, so I suspect this time you could probably get up somewhere to 92.310. Um, it's only a couple hundred uh, bucks, about uh, ticks rather, where we are from right now. And what that is, that's the last lows that were laid out here. Uh, on the 24th of November, as well as the December 1st. Um, you know, we'll see how that shakes out. We go in, and we take a look at the inside the Dow Industrials. I want to take a look at Caterpillar. So Caterpillar out here uh, has juice underneath it. We're up $4.19. You're trading 166 This is the leader uh, inside the Dow Industrials out here today. And uh, bottom line is that uh, this thing, you know, is uh, not only off to the races, uh, uh, there's been a one-way move, you know, since, uh, let's see, 59 bucks. 59 bucks was uh, February of uh, uh, 2016. Bottom line, goes goes topside. And what's intriguing there, <coughs> inside the Caterpillar movie, we've had the housing market, you know, basically recover in a huge way. That would be the, the retail market, meaning the, you know, building... Uh, houses. Um, the commercial market outside of malls is also doing very well. Now, what's going to get intriguing with Caterpillar, and that's why I'm bringing it up, is that the aspect, when we look at these mining stocks, uh, bottom line, that is where it looks like more juice uh, is coming into um, that market once again. And, you know, the, the if, in fact, we have these metals really start moving, I remember the, uh, in 2002, what ends up happening is this, which is really bizarre, is that the mining companies, when they were opening a new mine, had to actually not only buy the equipment a year and a half prior to the mine opening, but Caterpillar was so busy, they were squeezing them for the aspect of huge, huge deposits. Okay, so we'll see where that's uh, shaken out. Uh, we get open, we take a look at uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin out here today, big, big numbers, big spread, huge spread. Uh, Bitcoin has traded from a price point. That's XBT, let's see. We've had a low out here today of uh, 13,902. We've had a high of 16,466. Uh, this has been quite a day uh, inside Bitcoin. If we take a look at it uh, from uh, last night, last night it was at 16,464. Uh, that thing came down fast, furious, 10 o'clock this morning. It's trading down at the 13,903. Now, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform yet, folks, it's a great time to do it. Uh, you, you can come over to our website at TFNN, hit the banner, bring up the platform. You can open a demonstration account. Uh, and they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. They have Bitcoin weekly spreads. You can trade them, see how they trade, so you can understand how these tra trade with defined risk and with paper money. Uh, so you can, first off, see how Bitcoin trades. Um, then you'll get to really understand defined risk, number one. Uh, and, of course, at the Nadex platform, you can trade the indices. You can trade commodities. Uh, you can trade currencies. Uh, so the whole structure out here today in the cryptocurrency uh, is, is taking a hit. You have uh, Ripple is down 10%. Uh, 
Let's see uh, if we put Ripple up. Ripple's had quite a day also. This thing, uh, <laughs> you talk about volatility, man. This thing came down so fast. Uh, at, let's see, what time was that? Well, at 10 o'clock also. At 10 o'clock, uh, well, let's see. At, eight, at 9 o'clock, yeah, at 8 o'clock, it was trading at uh, 251. At 10 o'clock, it was at 190. Uh, guess what, though? Made it all the way back. Now we're back up to 243. So bottom line, you can expect that volatility uh, to continue uh, in a big way, too. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the IBB out here because you do have uh, two of the large equities getting hammered out here this morning. Uh, this afternoon, rather, uh, what you have with the IBB. IBB is trading down a buck forty-four. You're at one oh eight thirty-nine, and you get volume expanding. So uh, we'll see whether you know the IBB has been in this consolidation for quite some time. One fourteen is the high, and the low is out at one hundred, and you do have high volume lows uh, at that level. So more than likely, uh, we're going to be making our way down into that into that level. If we go take a look at some of these uh, stocks inside the IBB. Uh, this is what you have out here. The, the two leaders on the way down, um, Biogen is one of the leaders on the way down. Regenerin is one of the leaders on the way down. Let's go see what Celgene's doing. Cel Celgene's down 87 cents. Amgen is down 31 cents. You have Vertex Pharmaceutical, that's up 99. Illumina is down a dollar. Alexa Pharmaceutical is down three. You got Myelin Pharmaceutical up 41, and Insight is uh, up a buck. So the, it's the big numbers. It's uh, Biogen, which is uh, the leader, and that's the largest weighting structure inside the IBB. That is down $13.69. And I believe what's interesting about... Okay, so that's just that's the consolidation at the top. Hasn't, haven't been able to make it. And this is where, you know, we came down hard of, on 2015... Monster volume, that's what's going up. It's going right up against the supply line, couldn't handle it. So uh, Biogen, yeah, I mean, 307 is game. 307 is the high of August of 2016. We go take a look at the XAU, the HUI, uh, inside the uh, gold business. You get the XAU uh, down $1.20 right now. Uh, we are at 86.19. Uh, 86 is where it broke topside from. And we will have light volume out there today. Um, you go look, take the Gold Bugs Index. That's down 367. And uh, 194.47 is game is at. Uh, game is about 193.15. That's where it can pull back to. Uh, the XAU and the HUI, folks, last week did push higher, pushing into swing points with volume, which is for holiday trading week. Great news. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials are down 20. NASDAQ's up 16. S&P's are up 3.5. We're coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term long-term prospects.
David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. If you haven't tried David White's daily trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, then this month is your perfect opportunity. On January 17th at 5 p.m., Dave will be hosting a special subscriber webinar where he'll be presenting on the newest feature in his newsletter, short-term sector charts that work on both the madness and wisdom of crowds. Join Dave on January 17th as he describes the method he uses to recognize these signals on a sector-by-sector -sector basis and as he discusses how he used this new tool to buy the gold miners in their seemingly darkest hour in December. And all new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. If you're a trader scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity, then now is a great time to sign up for the Path of Least Resistance. For all the information and for details on Dave's subscriber event taking place January 17th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is uh, down uh, 12. Nasdaq's up 19. S&Ps are up 4.5. And, and we take a look at those cryptocurrencies. Uh, so check this story out. This is pretty wild, folks. So we had high volatility, which we've had big time in cryptocurrencies anyway. Uh, but when this thing sank this morning at 10 o'clock, what this was all about is that uh, Bitcoin sank on Monday after website Coin Market Cap removed prices from South Korean exchanges from its calculations in, in the, of digital currency rates without any warning, resulting in a steep drop in virtual, all virtual coin, coins they track. Uh, coin market cap shows real-time prices and market capitalizations. So check this out. For over 1,300 cryptocurrencies, 1,300 folks, okay, crazy, uh, and is widely followed by market participants. The exclusion of data from South Korea exchanges uh, now, w w listen to this one. This is, if we think this is expensive here, so check this out. The exclusion of data from South Korean exchanges where virtual currencies trade at a wide premium sowed confusion and triggered a broad sell-off. Every crypto is priced in Korea at a 30% premium in cents. Uh, that's just pretty amazing, actually. Um, so let's see what they say. By removing that, uh, looks like the market cap fell by 30%, and so people, oh my God, look at this. So what happened is that, oh, this is crazy. Every crypto is priced at 30% premium in South Korea, said Greg Dwyer, head of business development at cryptocurrency derivatives exchange BitMax. By removing that, it looks like the market cap fell by 30%, so people rushed to sell because they weren't sure what's happening. As of midday in New York, Bitcoin coin was down 7.1% uh, at 14,980. Um, it fell to a one-week low of 14,000. It actually got below that. Uh, analysts said uh, Bitcoin was also undermined by news earlier in the session that South Korea financial authorities were inspecting six local banks that offer virtual currency accounts to institutions. Market participants said, Bit said that coin market cap removed data without any explanation from three of the largest South Korean exchanges. Um, and guess what? Uh, at this particular point, no one knows what's going on. Uh, cryptocurrency prices tend to be much higher on South Korean exchanges because of the huge demand in monetary restrictions in that country. South Korea has always had a premium because it's very difficult to get cash out of the country. Anyone looking to take advantage of an arbitrage in South Korea needs to do so with fiat currencies. So. Uh, cash out of the country. Pretty, pretty wild, man. Uh, anyway, I'm sure that uh, if you are trading um, that currency, uh, you, you know that there's uh, high volatility, and that's where uh, the defined risk absolutely comes in. Let's go up and take a look at uh, Apple. So, uh, bottom line with Apple, uh, laying it up these high, at these highs and having a hard time breaking over them. 
The top of the uh, high, uh, the top of the consolidation in Apple is 177.20. Right now we're at 174.33. Uh, it hasn't, uh, you know, got to 175.61 today. And if we close under this uh, 175.37, that's saying that guess what? It's going to go back down the other side of this consolidation, which is 167.16. We go take a look at uh, Amazon, the king dog out here. Uh, Amazon right now, new all-time high, up $1,244. And I believe the Amazon is going to do another deal with Toyota. Let me see what this is. So, yeah, uh, Toyota uh, trying to transform itself into the leader of new driverless uh, economy, unveiled both the concept vehicle and a big partner uh, to make it a reality. Amazon is signed on as a partner for Toyota's new mobility alliance, which will fully develop autonomous electric vehicles to deliver packages, pizza, and people to desire and people to desired uh, destinations. Also joining the e-commerce giant, uh, our partners uh, Pizza Hut, Uber Technology, Mazda. Uh, Motors and China ride hailing uh, giant uh, Didi. Uh, this is going to be pretty intense. So Toyota, Toyota's got some attraction behind. Let's see what it did to the stock. So Toyota is uh, trading 75.52 yen. That's what it closed up last night, up 139 yen. Oh, look at this. This is an ABC up. This is an ABC up in the Nikkei. So 355. 9.3. No, I guess it, it has good volume, but it didn't take the B out with volume. But uh, let's just see, pull this back a bit. Okay, so this is interesting. The, the 2007 high for Toyota was 83.50 yen. It had tested that in March of 2015. Couldn't hold it. Yep. And then it came down hard. This is the, so Toyota right now is actually coming into its downdraft from August of 2015. This, this whole driverless uh, deal is going to be pretty wild, man. Let's go take a look at Google. They, they're no doubt they're into driverless uh, deal in a big way. Uh, Google right now is trading also a new all-time high. That's uh, up 452 at 11.06. Uh, Facebook, we go over and take a look at Facebook. Facebook new all-time high. That's up a buck forty-four, one eighty-eight. What's intriguing here is that uh, let me go let me go to the NDX for a second. So if we look, take a look at the three Qs. Yeah, they, they're up. They're up. They're up sixty-one cents. Okay. The uh, it seems that when we take a look at the you having those big dogs up that much, that the NDX one hundred should be up a lot more than it is, but. You know, putting uh, juice into it, you got uh, Priceline putting 27 points. Yeah, Amazon, well, 20, Priceline's up 27 points. I see what's going on. Yeah, you get uh, the Biogen Regeneron uh, taking them down pretty good. Uh, Alta Salon also, that's down uh, six. That's six dollars and uh, seventy-six cents. You got uh, Alexa Pharmaceutical down three. Win. If we go into the gambling business, that's uh, down two bucks. That's no big deal. Win is trading. At 162.50, this looks like it's going to test its uh, high volume low from last week. Wind came down to 160.58, did 723,000 uh, shares. You did 161.50 today. I suspect that's going to get down there. Las Vegas Sands, LVS. We take a look at that. LVS is trading 68.08. That's up 16 cents. This is this is quite a recovery. You know, I remember Las Vegas Sands in '09. It was a dollar twenty, folks. A dollar twenty. That's sixty-eight bucks right now. And the first, the first leg up actually, without breathing, brought it to eighty-eight. It's pretty amazing. So this eighty-eight is going to be a big number because what you have with the Sands is that anything over fifty-two is kind of dangerous. It hasn't had volume over that fifty-two. Last time it made it to eighty-eight, then gave it up and went back down to thirty-four. Uh, that that supply line is pretty intense. That it's going to continue to go in. But guess what? The longer that uh, it's out here staying above that number, um, you know, the longer that you can build up some cause. 
uh, to make that next charge and maybe have some juice underneath it. We go take a look at the uh, small caps. So the uh, you stay right there. We'll be coming right back, looking at those small caps. Uh, right now we have the uh, Dow Industrials trading down 17, Nasdaq up 21, S and P's up four and a half. We'll come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 13, down 13. Nasdaq's up 21. S&Ps are up 5. We get open, we take a look at the... Um, Russell 2000, folks, uh, this is going to be just laying right at its highs. Uh, this has been having a hard time holding price, uh, but the way that we are setting up coming into this close, it looks like um, that it is going to try to get that 1564.70. We hit 1565.90 today. It's laying right below it, so I do expect uh, that that's going to uh, probably get hit. Uh, if we go back to the chip stocks for a second for the uh, NVIDIA, uh, what you're seeing out here... You talk about some juice underneath it, uh, and what you have, you know, of course you have buying, uh, which is which is pushing it. You get volume behind the move, uh, and the announcement that was out here uh, has to do with um, 
the CES, uh, CSE uh, Consumer Electronics Show is going on in Las Vegas right now, folks, and they announced that Uber Technologies, as well as Volkswagen, uh, is going to be using their artificial intelligence expertise uh, in order to bring self-driving cars to the road. So uh, NVIDIA, whose chips are used in graphic processing and cloud computing, um, bottom line, they're going to be using them uh, in the driving business also. So it's uh, they get a lot of different ways of making money uh, inside their chip business and uh, there's no doubt that the uh, you know cloud computing is out there uh, bitcoin mining is out there and now on top of that uh, when you're talking about the driverless uh, business that driverless business folks is going to be so much money put into it it's going to be pretty uh, incredible actually uh, and i can see uh, the Jetsons are here. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. We go out another five or six years. I suspect we're going to be seeing uh, a lot of driverless cars running around, and it looks like the way that it's uh, set up. When we take a look at the uh, the Toyota deal and Amazon deal, um, is that uh, and and the pizza business being in it. Uh, guess what? Delivery business is driverless. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with some numbers after the close. Dow Industrials are down 16. Nasdaq's up 21. S&P's are up 4.5. We'll be coming back with some numbers after the close, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who we oh, have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We going to take him by storm? Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. Holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great week, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but yours. <laughs> Pretty intense. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 20. Na Dow Industrials finish down 12. NASDAQ finishes up 20. S&P's finish up uh, three and a half. Gold contract down a buck 10, trading at 13, 21, 20 an ounce. Silver down 13 cents, 17 dollars 15 cents. Now both gold and silver folks, they continue to push higher, have some good volume. They had good volume last week. What I expect you're going to see is you're going to the silver uh, move with 1715. That wants to run into the October as well as the November swing points, which is only about 20 cents higher. 
Um, we'll see how they handle that. The gold contract, 1365. That's the September 8th high. Oil. Oil's uh, up 46 cents, trading at $61.90 a barrel. Ten-year note, down one tick, 123.15. 30-year bond, flat, 151.26. Your ten-year is trying to get back inside its higher range. That number, folks, is 123.27, so you're 12 ticks away from it. King dollar. King dollar got a bounce going today, up 412 ticks. You're at 92.085. But I do expect we're going to see uh, another couple hundred ticks, uh, and we'll see how it handles the uh, 92.280 level. Though that level uh, is where uh, basically it broke down from um, last week. You have the euro trading at 119 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 113 to the U.S. dollar, and you have Bitcoin down $1,800, trading at 14,900. 34. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, another day, another number, another all-time high. You're 273.91. Inside the SPY, cash S&P out here. Uh, cash uh, is trading at a price point of 24.47, up uh, four and a half dollars. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials uh, traded uh, to uh, 25,311.99, and uh, that's a, that's an all-time high. Laying there, all-time high. Nasdaq Composite. What do we have with the Composite? Composite. Also at an all-time high, up 20 bucks, 71.57. NDX 100, we go into the NDX 100. Also another all-time high, up 23 bucks. And, uh, you know, a couple of the uh, NDX stocks out here that was driving this out here, again, is that you had Seagate Technologies up 7%. Uh, Tesla was up 6%. You have Intuit Surgical up 3%, and Align uh, is up 3.2%. Uh, we go inside the Dow Industrials, the strength inside the Dow out here. Point-wise, uh, Caterpillar was the leader out here. Uh, Caterpillar put 28 positive points inside the Dow. You had Walmart put 10. You had Boeing put 9. Now, taken away from it, you had United Health. United Health was the culprit, one of the culprits out here. United Health had put 27 negative points into it. Goldman put 25. Disney put 11. American Express put 6. When we do go over to look at Goldman, Goldman's the number you want to keep your eye on this month. The reason being, folks, is that uh, Goldman came down last week with volume. And that's really unusual and the aspect of a holiday week when the markets were higher. Uh, what Goldman has done is that Goldman took out its highs from 2017, uh, from 20, 2007 rather. That high was $250.70. That's the number you want to keep an eye on. Uh, why? Because if we close under that at the end of this month, what that sets up is a monster consolidation. And that, that for the financial equities in general, that's going to be a big heads up. Because what Goldman had done, when you go back and we look at last March, you know, not that we had a big pullback, but Goldman went from 255, uh, leading the financials down to 209. And if that's the case, where I would bring this is that would, that would be saying that inside the interest rate environment, that we wouldn't have short-term rates even going up as much as we think that the, Fed, or that the Fed is actually telling us right now, we're still looking at three short-term rate hikes in 2018. You know, that being said, the actual tradable 10-year and the tradable 30-year, meaning what people are buying and selling every day, they have not broken down. You know, the 30-year uh, the has a long way to go. The 30-year would have to come back under 147 and we are at 151.25 in order to break um, a long-term swing low. We haven't broken a major long-term swing low inside the 30-year, folks, since 2000. It's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, we take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here today. This is what you had. You had the GE get hit again. That was down 26 cents. We'll go back to GE after we do some of these. GoPro got slammed. That was down 96 cents, as much as a buck and a half all day. Huge volume. They're closing. They're, they're laying off 200 people. 
they're closing down their um, the drones that they thought they could be able to make money on. You had uh, Micron Technology down 25 cents. Uh, NVIDIA was a big mover on the way up. That was up 660. Uh, you had uh, Apple down 65 cents. Let's go into General Electric for a second because GE, uh, bottom line, rough year last year. And, um, you know, it looks to me, well, you have two different things happening. We have a high volume low that's laying out there at 1746. Uh, and then what you have when you really pull this back on GE is that you have the highs of the low from 2009, which come down to 1135. Um, pretty, pretty intense. So we'll see how GE uh, handles that. Some of the um, big uh, FANG stocks. They went higher today, higher highs. Google was up 471, uh, 1106. We go take a look at Amazon. Amazon new all-time high also. That was up $17.73 at 1246. Facebook new all-time high, trading up a buck 43, 188.28. Huge numbers. Uh, let's go over to Microsoft. Microsoft out here. Nine cents, eighty-eight dollars twenty-eight cents. You stay right there, folks. We come right back. Dow Industrials traded traded down twelve. Nasdaq up twenty. S and P's up four and a half. We're coming right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. 
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials uh, finished down 12. Yeah, the Nasdaq up 20. S&P's uh, up four and a half. Uh, GPRO. So uh, we go over to GoPro, uh, and this is probably one of the uh, gee, first uh, equities that you can see uh, after the holiday sales. Uh, bottom line, they got to do something just to stay in business. Uh, so GoPro today uh, it was that they, they traded. They halted trading this morning when they bottom line said they were going to uh, lay off 200 people and then close down the drone um, portion of their business. Uh, the GoPro uh, opened at a price point of uh, 669, went down to 504. Uh, you're at 656. Monster volume, too, by the way. You're talking about 59 million shares were traded uh, in GoPro today. Uh, then they also come out. Uh, so uh, here's the the. There's a couple different announcements on GoPro out here today. GoPro uh, hired investment bank J.P. Morgan Chase to advise of a potential sale of the uh, wearable camera maker. Uh, earlier today, the company unveiled plans to cut more than 20% of its global force, exit the drone business after a disappointing fourth quarter. Um, GoPro's hiring of JP was reported earlier by CNBC. The company shares, which had dropped uh, as much as 33 percent, uh, did uh, come back quite a bit and only dropped 13 percent. Um, here's a quote from uh, the chief executive officer, Nick Woodman. Uh, if there was an opportunity for GoPro to uh, partner up with a larger organization that would help us scale, that's certainly something that we would consider. Um, our job is to, you know, said uh, Nick Woodman, our job is to consider to our job is to align GoPro with consumer behavior and look for opportunities to expand the appeal and reach the relevance of GoPro. Some, sometimes that's easier if done with a partner or an acquiring company. Um, uh, Woodman did confirm that J.P. Martin is GoPro's banker. He said Go, GoPro is not engaged with the bank to help sell the company at the moment. Um, in the years since uh, the initial public offering in 2014, um, the once high-flying GoPro uh, has, narrow, has sharply narrowed its vision and held several rounds of layoffs. The company has been criticized by investors for failing to diversify its product away from the action cameras. Uh, bottom line, folks, let's go over to this for a second, because if you remember this, um, this guy got away with <laughs> just something that you don't see people get away with um, in IPOs and what it was. Let me see how many stock, how, much, how many shares he owns right now. And what it was is that when you go an IPO, you have a lockup period. Uh, what he did is that he got uh, his lockup period basically negated. Uh, and the, the way that he got it negated uh, had to do with first that he was putting it in a a nonprofit. Well, the bottom line is that the nonprofit was his nonprofit uh, in Goldman Sachs who had brought them public, I mean, well, first of all, let me make sure it was Goldman, I believe it was Goldman, that gave him the get-go that he could do that. No, it wouldn't have been Goldman. No, it's, oh, it's J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan gave him the, the get-go to do it. And um, pretty intense, okay. So let's go back and look at this and see what he has left. And so what happened is that when... Um, this was at almost all-time highs. He got to sell millions of it. You can see his net worth right now. I don't know how many times this is uh, upgraded. Uh, Bloomberg has his net, net worth at the $799.7 uh, million, folks. So let me go, okay, where are your, let's see, actions, advanced search, no. Where are you hiding, man? Just give me one second, folks. Pay, highlight, more network. So I'll come back to that after the break. Sorry about that, folks. I just, normally they, they change this on me. I'm looking for the amount of equity he owns in his own company. Most times that's pretty easy to find. People search description. Anyway, uh, the way that uh, GoPro is trading, it looks like to me that they're going to have a hard time just staying in business. If we, if we take a look at the action of 
their sales, just the gross sales, uh, what you're going to see is that you did $1.4 billion in 2014 and 2018, $1.3 billion. You know, um, cameras and accessories is everything. Uh, they plan on, uh, well, they're, they're claiming, th these numbers here, they, they're claiming they're going to make money in 2018, uh, uh, but uh, I suspect after that announcement today, that is more than likely off the table. That's where I'd expect. Um, some of the other uh, equities out here, the higher volume equities, you had a Bank of America uh, down 21. Actually, let's go over to the uh, XLF. We take a look at these financials. Uh, the XLF hanging at the highs. You're up, uh, we have flat down four cents today, $28.37. The XLE inside the energy business, energy business at all time high. Well, not all time highs, a new, new high out here today. Uh, Exxon Mobil, we go take a look at Exxon. So Exxon's pushing higher. Exxon needs some more juice, but you're up 39 cents. You're trading at a price point of uh, 87.14. What is going to get interesting with the um, with the large oil companies um, is that in the new tax bill, uh, it's not all gravy for them. Uh, you know, there's there's a there's the let, let's see what they're saying. For big oil, the U.S. tax overhaul is turning out to be a mixed bag, especially for companies that drill overseas. Uh, caps on interest rate payments and cuts to deductions from previous year's losses um, are going to basically hurt the companies. Uh, building capital intensive projects with borrowed money. Other provisions include time limits on the expense and exploration. Uh, that's a big one. The time limit's a big one. I don't know, uh, we'll see if we can find out exactly how long the time limit is for expensing it. But what does happen is that there's a few of these companies that are just building uh, very large um, exploration programs. Uh, and bottom line, we'll see if they can get it done before the expiration of their write-off goes. Uh, if For the companies that are doing business in the U.S. only, uh, that's not going to affect them. It, it has to do with doing business outside. See, the intriguing thing to me when you, when you actually look at this is that the oil companies themselves, you know, they've all, they're all been claiming that they were paying 32 to 35 percent. These oil companies, there's no way. Um, particularly the oil companies, because you know what the oil, and they're going to get hit two different ways, the oil companies. The oil companies, folks, number one, accounting-wise, know what they're doing. Number two, tax credit-wise, the oil companies are some of the largest buyers of low-income tax credits in the world, not just in the United States. This is an United States deal, a low-income tax credit. Um, they are the largest buyers of them. That, what that just did, however, is that when you go from 35% to 20% on paper, that makes the tax credit worth less. That's the first part. The second part, we'll see um, how these uh, tax credits hold up because it, they held up in this bill. That's the bottom line. But you can see the value of them went down because the, the price of what they supposed to pay legally went down. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials closed down 12, NASDAQ up 20, S&P's up 4.5. We're coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. 
Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we had the uh, Dow finish uh, down 12, NASDAQ up 20, S&Ps up 5. Bottom line is that you get a sideways market uh, at highs, at, at definitely at highs. Let's go over and take a look at that 10-year. So interest rates show here. So interest rate structure we go is like this, folks. The probability that your next rate hike is going to come in March. So the, the, we have the Federal Reserve is going to meet January 31st. Right now, it's on like a 0% chance probability-wise in the Fed Fund future rate, and this is a tradable vehicle, that they will go up in January. The next meeting is March 21st. Right now, this is a 75% chance. So more than likely, that's a 25 basis point move, right? Um, the next meeting after that uh, is May 2nd. So they're, they're, they're pretty close together there, March 21st, May 2nd. Uh, then they come right after one another, uh, well, June 13th, and then they skip July and give you August 1st. So that's a month and a half in between that. Uh, we take a look. Now, let's, if we go over to the, the actual rate right now, uh, we are at 2.478. And if we bring this back a full year, you know, the low for the year is 2.03. The high is 2.62. If we actually take a look at this technically, what you're going to see is that what we did on the 19th of December, we broke down. You broke the consolidation. Uh, it stayed down there for four days. You know, when I broke the consolidation, it went from 124.08 down to 123.12 jumped right back inside the higher range. Uh, nice jump in, no two ways about that. Guess what? Didn't hold. Uh, what we do have out here is that the low that was established out here on the 4th last week, which is 123.13, now that got tested today with dramatically lighter volume. We did half the amount of volume. So now the 10-year has the shot once again to get inside its larger range. The larger range is going to be 12327. So you're talking 12 ticks from where we are. If we go take a look at the 30 year, and we put the 30 year on a continuous contract, what you're going to see, this 30 year just doesn't want to back down at all. Um, you know, the bottom of this consolidation on the 30 year is 14707. Uh, even though we had come down fast and furious, um, in September, you know, September we went from a price point of 159 down to 150, like fast and furious. 
bottom line didn't get close to that 147 low. What do we do? We go back topside in December, you know, up to the 155 again, and now it's still going sideways. Uh, the 30 year, as I said a little bit earlier, that hasn't broken a major swing point since 2000. So that breakdown is not there yet. The TLT, what do we have with the TLT? The TLT gives us the 20 year bond fund plus. If we, when that says plus, what I specifically what that means inside the ETF structure, folks, is that you would have, you could have 30 year bonds that have 10 years left. That's a 20 year or a 20 year. You could have a 22 year bond, which was a 30 that has eight years left. So that's what that 20 year plus bond means. Now, when you take a look at the TLT, it's like, you know, the, the TLT, we, we did come down hard uh, December of 20, no, November of 2016, you know, big time. We try to get back up into the highs in September of this year. And when we did that, though, we accelerated with volume. You know, we pushed into 129.50 with 191 million. We pushed last week, last month rather, into highs again with 173 million. That's, that's trying to get up and into the downdraft of 132. So even the TLT is still actually pushing into a downdraft with an expansion of volume. So when you do that, number one, I expect you're going to get to the top. It doesn't mean, you know, you don't know if is it going to break it. Uh, but when they start pushing with volume and you're already into that bar a lot, which the TLT is, looks to me like it's going to, it's going to go. So the wild card, of course, is going to be, okay, if that goes, if the 10-year gets back inside its higher range, <laughs> that, that means, folks, that regardless of the Fed saying that they continue to want to go up on short-term rates, there's something that's laying out here that's going to stop them from going three times. Because I, I, I can't picture neither the 10-year or the TLT moving higher on three rate hikes in the year. Because realistically, the Fed does control the short-term rates. The market controls you know, the 10-year, the 20-year, the 30-year. But there's only so long that if, in fact, the Fed's going to continue to go up on rates, that we're going to be in a low interest rate in cl climate. Uh, when you do take a look at the home builders, now that being said, and this is another one that it's, it's looking to me like, you know, rates are not going up. When you look at the home builders, guess what? These, these things are not only, you know, Lennar's at its 2005 high, we're at 67.23, the high is 68. 73, but this is at a high and pushing into it with volume. It looks like it's going to take it out. If we go to Toll Brothers, which took a hit two weeks ago, Toll Brothers not only have made back that whole area, you know, Toll Brothers had come down hard from 51 bucks uh, to 45 and December 4th and 5th. Well, guess what? Now it's trading 51.90, and this thing is going after its 2005 high uh, of 58. The low of the high is 49, the high is 58. So when you start putting some of those together, well, I, and then we can go to Home Depot, of course. Home Depot's been, been breaking the highs, period. Uh, Home Depot's trading 192. Uh, the, the Home Depot aspect of it, uh, this has been a one-way trade uh, up. You know, and take a look, look at this, like, okay, that's, the, the builders in general are saying that interest rates I'm not going to be that affected either. Now, the wild card here is that when I say that, if, in fact, inflation takes off and the rate of inflation is larger than the interest rate structure, guess what? Those equities will still take off. It really it has to do is that what is the real interest rate. And the real interest rate, the way you get that, of course, is that you're going to take what the inflation rate is. Like right now, the inflation rate is running somewhere about 1.7%. So see, the way that the Fed looks at it, we take the, we're at 2.47, okay? 
the Fed would look at that and says, okay, we're at 1.7. So real interest rates, okay, are basically seven tenths of 1% on a 10 year. That's how the Fed looks at it. And that's how the market looks at it, too. You know, so we'll see as how this whole thing shakes out. But the, the interest rate structure, I would say, is always really important. This year, it's going to be really important. Why? Because if rates do basically catch a bid underneath them, that's going to be the first time that it, they've caught a bid in years and years. And I would say that most of us, um, not most of us, there's, there's definitely audience-wise, a third of the audience out there that probably have never seen rates go up. <laughs> you know, yeah, if you're, if you're over, you know, 45 maybe, we've seen rates are much higher. Uh, you're under that, well, at that, and you've never seen rates go up. They've only gone down. Stay right, stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience Experience TFNN programming, see high definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Take your phone calls now. 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 Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And uh, if we stay with this uh, interest rate structure for a second, this is pretty cool. So uh, former Fed Reserve uh, Chairman Ben Bernanke predicted uh, uh, today, they're at a uh, meeting, uh, let's see, we'll find out where the meeting is, uh, in San Francisco, uh, uh, he predicted uh, today that uh, the new uh, leadership at the Fed uh, is going to be uh, basically all over um, studying uh, the, the aspect of uh, inflation and its framework. 
Uh, his, uh, his quote, uh, there'll be some pretty serious discussions on policy frameworks at the Fed under the chairmanship of Jerome Powell. But Anki said on uh, Monday, he said Powell's like to assign a subcommittee of officials to study the subject. I imagine we'll come up, come up with some serious debate in the next year to 18 months. Bernanke's uh, comments uh, came on a panel uh, in San Francisco with Fed President John Williams at the Brooklyn Institute in Washington on whether central bank should keep its 2% inflation target or rethink it. Williams advocated a price target level, while other scholars on the panel argued in favor of a nominal target for gross domestic product. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. The Fed says its 2% inflation goal is symmetrical. That means policymakers are equally unhappy if they miss by undershooting or overshooting. Still, they don't have, they don't try to make up lost ground by running inflation above target if they have been under the goal for a prolonged period, uh, as is currently the case. The Fed has undershot this target, folks, for the last five years. That's what's so intriguing about this whole bond deal, folks. Okay, so picture when you when we look at the bond market and. For so many years, it looked like the short-term rates were going to go higher. But each and every time that they start getting hammered, meaning they get the, the price gets sold down, the yields start going up, they turn, and they just haven't broken down. Um, price level targeting aims uh, for an inflate. Okay, so that's the aspect of inflation. Now, here's a, here's a, there's going to be another camp that is going to start talking about the nominal target for gross domestic product. So let's see what they have to say about that. So price leveling targeted, targeting aims um, for inflation goal on average over a given time period, as Williams has suggested, while his colleagues consider switching to such a regime. Accountability is absolutely critical, Williams said in the panel. Hitting the nominal anchor is the most important part of monetary policy whatever anchor that may be. Under nominal GDP targeting, the central bank would pick a nominal growth path for total spending and investing in the economy. Central bankers are already discussing alternative regimes in public and in their policy meetings. One reason is that the so-called neutral interest rate or the interest rate that keeps supply and demand in balance is low, putting the Fed at risk of hitting the zero boundary on policy in the next recession. The Fed in December estimated that longer-term medium estimate for Fed fund futures to be at 2.8%. Williams said, Williams added, uh, the issue of low rate applies to all advanced ec economies. This is where this, the, the kicker in the rates too, by the way, uh, absolutely has to do with all economies. You know, because when we, when we look at the rate structure, and this is where you know, I've been for a while, meaning that if you look at the, we're a one world economy now, right? So France is at seven tenths of 1%. We're at 2.4. Italy is at 1.9. It makes zero sense, folks, that Italy, that our rates would go up when Italy's still at 1.9, when Spain's at 1.4. These, these, these are companies, these are countries that bottom line, have much more debt than us. Their economies are much stronger, uh, slower, sl uh, smaller than us. And it's like, okay, why? We're 2.4. You know, we you can make the case. This was really wild. You know, the United Kingdom is at 1.2. When you look at the California, is the sixth largest gross economy in the world, and they they're sandwiched in between the United Kingdom and France. So when you start looking at these rates across the world, you can see why companies, trust, states, institutions keep buying the 10-year. And what happens, of course, when you keep buying the 10-year, what you have is you have more demand than supply. You have more demand than supply. Guess what? What happens there is that the prices stay high. The rates stay low. So uh, if we go and we take a look at, uh, let's go actually utilities. Let's see. If we go into con, let's go into con Edison for a second. I'm just curious. So this is up 115. 
The low for the year, well, the last 12 months, rather, 72. The high is 89. It's always good to look at the utilities because the utilities trade the opposite of the yield. You know, when yields are going up, utilities get smoked. And guess what? When we take a look at Con Edison, it's pretty amazing, actually. Con Edison has a high volume high at 89. You're at 82. You pull back to almost the bottom of the consolidation, which would be 80.48. We hit 81. You know, on a short-term basis, this is, this is saying that more than likely what we're going to see this week um, is this 10-year is going to basically get back inside the range. You know, we came down last week in Canada, it's in 7.9 million. You're going into 8.6. You didn't hit the bottom of the breakout, and this broke out a long time ago. This broke out in uh, May of 2017. Looks like it wants to go uh, higher. You know, well, it doesn't look like it wants to take out its highs, but it definitely looks like it wants to go higher. Let's go take a look at a few others. We, uh, let's go to Semper Energy, which is SRE. Okay, so this does business. Oh, this is interesting. So this is throughout the United States, but they do business in South America and Mexico. Let's see how much their of their business is in the U.S. versus Mexico. Okay, United States, that's the biggest part of the business. Eight billion in the United States, 1.6 billion in Latin America, 626,000 uh, million, rather, uh, in Mexico. So this is a good indication. Same deal. This has been a consolidation uh, since uh, September of uh, 2014. You came down hard but last month, but guess what? We got under it already. It rejected lower price out here at uh, 107, no 102.99, and this thing, you know, looks like it's it's going to have to build some cars to get into the high again. But it looks like that's where it wants to go. And you know, you that's that's what we get when once you start putting those utilities together with the way that the gold market is trading. I mean, it wants to go high. It looks to me like uh, the next couple of days, this 10-year wants to get right back inside the higher range. So we'll see what that's all about. And that's all just more demand than supply. Uh, the, the next couple of days, the dollar index, folks, uh, is going to be the thing to keep your eye on also. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. We have the uh, Dow Industrials. They closed down uh, seven, 12. NASDAQ was up 20. S&P's up 5.5. We'll come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity if you'd like to find out more about great panther silver then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the nyse market symbol gpl or the tsx symbol gpr don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv for the latest market information Welcome back, folks. Uh, you know, as we uh, get into the uh, trade tomorrow morning, folks, uh, when you're taking a look at this dollar out here, what you want to keep your eye on is this. So do dollar index got a bid today, 15,800 contracts. Not, not bad, not great, but not bad. Uh, what the dollar index did do, it kept price um closed at that the high of the day you know it had some volatility intraday but closed the high of the day what i expect you're going to see here is this you're going to see it trade into the lows that were established out here the 24th of november as well as december first uh, uh that's a couple hundred ticks higher than we are right now and that is also where we broke down on the 29th now this one this is going to be a big number watching this uh play out the reason being is that what's been laying out here to try to get tested for quite some time is that September 8th swing low. Because when we take a look, this is, this is where the dollar can jump off the cliff. And specifically what I mean, if we put this on a continuous contract, what you're going to see uh, is that you, you already broke the consolidation that has been in place since January of 2015. Once we got underneath 93, 285, you really broke that. Uh, the number that it's going after is this low that was established in 2017. Um, you know, it got under it, it spiked it, then it came right back up and tried to get inside the larger range and it failed. So now it's gonna more than likely come right back downtown, try to get into that uh, and we'll, we'll find out uh, if we get a large ABC structure on the way down. You know, uh, it's, it's, used, it's normal that you get a, a bounce because of the way that we actually came down also. The real amount of information that the doll is going to release to us this week, are they going to get, will it get an expansion of volume as it's moving higher? If we get a contraction of volume tomorrow, as that I do expect we're going to move higher, what you're going to get there, that is building cause to go after that September 8th low. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Look forward to speaking right back here, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Meow! Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. 
When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.